Most amazing top 10, 10 top amazing most. It doesn't matter which way you put it. The point is, thank you for coming back to the channel guys. My name is Danny Burke and guys, I like to think that all life on this planet of ours is beautiful in some way, shape or form. You just have to look hard enough. But there are some creatures on earth that you have to look very hard at, like very hard. In fact, only their mothers could love them, I think, because this is the top 10 most disgusting animals of all time. We're going to start off at number 10 now with the tongue-eating louse. This ocean crustacean is as fascinating as it is totally, totally gross. The males will enter the gills of a fish and then one of them will turn into a female and attach herself to the base of the fish's tongue. This is where it gets weird. Next, it will start to suck blood from the tongue until it withers away, dies and the tongue just floats off. What? It gets weirder. The louse then attaches itself to the remaining mouth muscles of the fish and becomes its new tongue. Yeah, the fish literally uses it as a new tongue and in return the louse gets to suck more blood and gets to just chill in a fish's mouth, I guess, for protection. It's the kind of creature that makes you disgusted and amazed at the same time. Like, whoa, whoa. Coming in number 9 now, we have the good old classic cockroach. Now it's been said that they are the world's most hated insect. Some people hate the sound they make when they run, maybe the crunch that they make when they get stepped on, the size of them, or even the way they like swarm over each other. I've even heard some people say they hate how unpredictably they move and how fast they do it. Now although they're nowhere near as dangerous as say a mosquito, they do carry a lot of bacteria which will at best cause you a rough case of food poisoning or at worst typhoid. Yeah. Also, I think Hollywood has helped intensify our disgust with cockroaches over the years. Edgar from Men in Black comes to mind. And now at the number 8 spot, we have the proboscis monkey. In 2013, British scientists set up a public vote for the ugliest animals in the world. The proboscis monkey made it comfortably into the top 5. It's just that nose. What is it? People can't seem to get over it. I think that because monkeys look so much like us humans, we tend to judge them by our own standards of beauty and the proboscis monkey has an unfortunately sized nose compared to the rest of its body. The nose is actually used to help increase the volume of their mating call when attracting other mates. But what about that little pot belly they've got going on? What about that? Surely that belongs to humans, like us, and not wild animals. They're supposed to be fit, right? Well they have that because they eat a lot of of unripe fruit, which makes a lot of gas and uh, yeah, lovely stuff. Coming in at number seven now, we have leeches. Now, these things make me squeamish just to think about them. They clamp onto you, they suck your blood, and they don't let go. They have suckers at both ends of them to make doubly sure they get at your sweet, sweet blood. And also, they have 32 brains, apparently. I don't know why, but that fact makes them even more creepy. When they attach themselves to you, they actually release special chemicals that stops your blood from clotting and turning indigestible. Yeah, this is why they are often used in traditional medicine. Nice. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for science. But they are absolutely repulsive. I actually have to do this whenever I talk about them to get the imaginary ones off me. I think they're gone. Yeah. Next up at number 6 now, we have the star-nosed mole. This strange little creature found in the east of Canada and the US has a very unfortunate face. In fact, it barely has a face at all. Instead, it has 22 wriggling appendages on its snout which contain 25,000 little sensory receptors which is used to feel its way around the dark. It can identify if something in front of it is food in as little as 120 milliseconds. Yeah, it's amazing. It's almost like it has this superpower, but guys, would you take this superpower if it meant giving up your face for that? Yeah, don't worry, it's not superficial if you say no, and if you said yes, well, that's a bit weird, but maybe you found your true calling in life as a little star-nosed mole. Coming in at the number 5 spot, we have maggots. Even the name is kind of gross, isn't it? Maggots are usually found in rotting dead flesh. Once you learn that, it's not hard to see why almost everyone on the planet is repulsed by them. Sometimes, if they hatch inside an open wound, they won't even say no to living flesh either. That's right, maggots aren't fussy. Living or dead, 
they'll eat you. Like leeches, maggots do have some use in medicine for their ability to eat away rotten flesh and thereby stop infection, so that's nice, I guess they're not all that bad, but you keep telling yourself that when someone asks you to put your hand in a bowl full of maggots. No thank you. Moving on to number 4 spot now, we have the Mata Mata Turtle. The name literally means kill kill in Spanish, presumably because that is the first thought people have when they almost step on this creature in South America. It's horrific. What is actually going on here? Its long, wart filled, fleshy neck makes it look like some sort of evil snake. In reality, the Mata Mata Turtle uses its big head and neck to pretend to be rocks in the water until it can jump out and snap up a nice tasty meal. The downside is, it looks like absolute nightmare fuel, if I'm honest. It takes an even worse picture than me, bless its little heart. Next to number 3 now, we have the anglerfish. Now at first look, the anglerfish doesn't even seem real, but this thing is very much alive and kicking at the bottom of the ocean right now, even if it does look like it was drawn by an angry toddler. If their hellish appearance wasn't enough to put you off them already, then check this out. The big ones you're seeing right now are the females. The males are much, much smaller. He bites the female's belly and fuses with her, eventually becoming part of her body when his organs wither away. He eventually ends up no more than just a lump of flesh to provide sperm to the female whenever she needs it. Nice. And they say romance is dead. Coming in at number 2 now, we have the fly. Now hear me out on this, I know we're all very familiar with the common house fly. We see them everywhere and most of us just think about them as, you know, a little bit of a pest. But if you take a closer look at them, things get pretty disgusting. We're not even going to go into how many countless diseases they spread. They love food such as dog poop. Yeah, but they can't actually eat solids. So what a fly does is it vomits onto the dog poop, which then begins to liquefy into a sort of soup, and they then suck it up through their straw-like mouths. Yes, millions of times a day guys, flies throw up on dog poop and then suck up a liquid mixture. If there is anyone watching this video who thinks that flies still don't deserve to be on this list after hearing that, then yeah, we can't be friends. We have different definitions of disgusting. And finally, at the number one spot, we have the blobfish. Sometimes, guys, if I stare at the blobfish long enough, I start to feel like a blobfish. It's kind of weird. You remember earlier when I said the proboscis monkey was in the top five on that public ugliest animals list? Well, the blobfish was number one and I'm not even going to argue with them at all. These things are found in deep waters between Australia and New Zealand, and yes, they do look like a miserable old man or a wax mannequin after a fire. It's kind of weird, isn't it? What was Mother Nature thinking? Well, it actually doesn't look like this all the time. That's the kind of good news. It normally lives almost 4,000 feet below the ocean surface, where pressure is about 120 times greater than it is up here. The blobfish survives this by not really having much of a skeleton or any muscle at all, which works great down there, but it means you will never ever get a good picture up here. The blobfish has a bad side and a, and a bad side. There is no good angle to take a picture of a blobfish. Poor, poor blobfish. Well guys, that is that. That was the most disgusting animals of all time. But you know what? Looks don't matter in the end really when it comes to the animal kingdom. We just judge them by human standards and as long as the animal is still surviving, who cares? You know what I mean? Except the flies. Yeah. Even a blobfish will find a fly disgusting. I hate flies. Thanks yet again for watching Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burt. You can find me on Instagram somewhere down there. And I'll see all you guys in the next one.